Sun and Fun 2018, we wanted to come by and have a look at the Just Aircraft Ultralight. Uh, we saw this at Air Venture last year, and it wasn't a complete airplane, and it hadn't flown. But despite those things, it attracted a lot of attention. Now it's been flying. So I'm Dan Johnson talking with Troy Woodland, the man behind this design, with a team of people helping him out. Uh, you've flown the airplane now. I have flown the airplane. Unfortunately, I've only got about an hour and a half on it, but uh, it's... Uh, I saw a little video of a crow hop. Have you gone yeah. higher than that by now? Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's <laughs> the last Sunday I, I was in it for about an hour. Okay. And uh, we, uh, we decided to pull it apart, put it in the trailer before I, uh, I, I was having too much fun. <laughs> well, that's good. I like the smile that came with that. So, give me your first impressions in an hour and a half of flying. You happy with the project? It flies fantastic. I can't wait. I, I and you know you're probably the biggest reason why I put it in the box and brought it down. I almost wanted to just stay home and just keep flying it. So <laughs> well, we're glad you brought it for us to see. I'm telling you, after I wrote that first little piece about it, and we yeah. did a little video with you. Uh, interest has been keen on it, and I, I love that fact. I'm an old ultralight guy, so I love that yeah. quality. I love the Super Stole too, you know. Yeah. But uh, but to me, that's kind of a big airplane. This is a little little airplane just to have fun in. There's really no other reason to have it. That's exactly it, and that's why I want one. It's just a just those nice mornings and evenings back home. Yeah, you don't, don't want to fly this in a big engine. giant wind, yeah. and you don't go a long way. Yeah, well, you could if you had time. But, yeah. But the point is to have a little fun in the morning, evening, nice weather, go up and mess around for an hour or so, huh? That's right. And I'm looking forward to floats this summer. That's what it... And floats on the ultralight, yeah. too. All we'll, right, We'll great. have that. Okay, so, so the airplane will go through some changes yet. Uh, what's your thinking? I know people are going to ask me, so what's your thinking about when this might be available as a product you'd sell to the public? So we'll... We'll, we'll start shipping them here in, you know, two, three months. Oh, okay. So this is a 2018 project people are going to be able to buy. Absolutely, it. yeah. Right. We're, we're, there's a lot of stuff behind the scenes I've already got done on it. What's the empty wood of this guy right here? Right now, I was um, I was 13 pounds over. Okay. Okay. Um, I don't want to admit to that, but keep in mind it is a prototype. Well, it's a prototype, yeah, of and, course. And... Uh, um, and you Basically know you can do things to yeah, lighten it up. There's right? a, quite a few things. I mean, I still got a starter and a battery. Um, there's and plenty brakes. of things. Yeah, yeah. brakes. There's. Uh, uh, I, I'm looking at parachutes. It'll have a parachute on it. Yeah. I think that that alone will get me the allowance. Yeah. 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 You've talked about for those that don't care about a Part 103 aircraft, if they don't need to stay within mm -hmm. that constraint, but they just want a light, lower cost fun to fly airplane you yeah. can put a bigger engine on it and you've talked about that you still right. planning on that yeah I have a 582 at home right now brand new with that four to one gearbox and I hope to be running a 96 inch Kato on it it's a <laughs> lot of thrust <laughs> yeah and I'm I'll be how many horsepower is this that's 36 I believe 36 what 37 prop? Um, it's the prop that was recommended it was that Halux I yeah, believe is what size, they call I don't recall 63, probably 64. Okay, so if you put yeah. you put 65 horsepower on here, a 96 inch prop, you're not going to keep it on the ground. Uh, I mean, as soon as you fire it up, you're going to be taken off. It'll be fun. <laughs> Of course, this is a man spoiled by the super stall. It'll jump off the ground and stop on the ground in almost no space. So, all right. So let's come back to the engine that we've already got on here. Now, this is the Polini, is it? Yes. Yeah, that's okay. Plenty. And that uh, 36 horsepower. And you like the way it flies, but describe the flight characteristics for us. Uh, let's let's go through a little takeoff and around the pattern and back and land. Tell me how it, tell me how it feels in some of those ways. Well, like I said, I only have an hour and a half on it. Um, last Sunday, I had a little breeze, nothing like this, of course, and I was taking off somewhere between 50 to 75 feet, <laughs> and I was landing it in two lengths of the airframe. Wow, seriously. Um, and that's with no time. You know, that's just, and, and, and within an a hour. a lot of pilot skill, I'll grant you, but still. Well, thank still. you. But there was, in, a, in an hour, within an hour, I was starting to wear it. And I was really starting to have some fun in it. It was, uh, it was. Uh, <laughs> You're having trouble suppressing the smile, it, it, I see. It, that's it, good. It was fun. That's good. I, I, uh, I, I started to fall back into my old ultralight <laughs> mannerisms, you know, there. Uh, um, so, what but, characteristics? Roll, pitch, how does it feel? Is it, is it sensitive the, to pitch? The way that 
you know, every once in a while you get lucky. And, uh, of course, you know, we calculated CG and so on and so forth before we ever got to this point. But first flight, it was very, very everything's so light. I mean, it's really, really light. It, it, it actually, at first it was, it, it seemed too light because I'm used to flying what uh, I just got out of, you know. And, sure, and sure. so you want to compare everything to that. But it was super sensitive as far as um, lightweight and just very balanced. I mean, the ailerons and the pitch roll and the rudder, it was all like I was feeling the same amount of control loads. And you, you get that throughout, you know, years of calculating, you know, the footage and bell cranks and stuff like that. And once in a while you get lucky and we, we I'm pretty happy with it. So it's yeah, this is fairly, in a manner of phrase, out of the box. Sort of the first effort you did with it has turned out pretty good. Yeah, I, I'm looking really forward to you. You'll be flying it at Oshkosh and you'll see what I'm saying. Cool. You'll, you'll, you'll enjoy it. I look for, forward to that. You know, and hope Hopefully, I won't be changing anything, and you'll see. You'll see what I'm saying. It's, okay, it was cool. a lot like the Super Stole, and in a lot of ways, you know, we kind of nailed it. We had a few things that we did different later with the spoilers and stuff, but it's it's good. It's, okay, so let's talk about these uh, these first few people, these selected individuals that you're going to rely on for feedback, I mm -hmm. presume. And how are you going to deliver them a kit? What what will it get? What kind of effort would it be to put the kit together? And understanding that this is early in the process, so things may change, but tell me what you know now, Troy. Well, the way that I wanted, uh, the way I wanted to produce the kit was, um, I'd like to, I would like to offer the complete kit, everything, and uh, we'll, we'll probably just do like one color, and if they alter from that, we'll make it expensive enough to where they won't. <laughs> <laughs> like Henry Ford used to say, you can have any color you want as long as it's black. <laughs> That's right. And uh, um, I'd like to I'd like to sell everything, but there's a lot of 447s and 503s out there that are going to be flying on these. Sure. And uh, so if they don't want the motor or the or the panel, then we'll we'll take that off uh, off off to the side. But I have the Rotax motor mounts. We already we can build oh, those. Really? All Good. the toolings. Yeah, are. people say, well, but they're not making those engines anymore, and that's a correct statement. However, there's a lot of them out there with, with low time or can be overhauled, overhauled to be low yeah. time. So really, there's a good supply of those engines. I've been told it'll be a while before they'll be hard to get there is there's there's plenty of them um, but that's the way I'd like to do it is just everything and I would like to make it to where you know there's not one blind hole that they have to drill you know it's all done um, so this yeah. would be a fairly fast build kit once you're to that point. Now these early guys are probably gonna have to put a little more effort in I guess. There will be you know we'll, we'll be we'll be eliminating the holes as we go. Okay. Know. And eventually, I don't know, a year from now or whatever, after you've delivered a number of them, you're happy with the processes and so forth, what would you guess the build time might be for somebody? It's got to be fairly the, low. Yeah, this is going to be simple. I mean, the, 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 all preformed ribs, all the holes in the spars are drilled. You just clico it together, deburr some odds and ends, and then rivet it together. It's just rivet and bolt. Um, there won't be any trimming, you know. Well, we'll have the windshields laser cut if the guy goes with that. Um, everything will be done. Um, it, uh, I know that we'll be able to build one probably, well, we'll do, we'll be able to do one a week easy. Okay. Yeah, there's no doubt about that. Okay. But. While, while doing all the rest of your production. Yeah, while we do everything doing, course, else, right. yeah. Okay, so, and so a builder downstream, somebody be able to just say, hey, look, I don't want to build it. I just want to go fly it. Yeah. And they'll be able to have that choice, you think? Yeah, we. I'm sure we'll go that route. Okay, great. All right, uh -oh. Troy, well, a lot of great stuff about the uh, probably just 103 Solo, but we'll see what the final name turns out to be. And wow. this year, some people are going to be smiling by having one. Yeah. All right, great stuff. Tell us how we find out more information on the web, Troy. Where do we send them to talk uh, to you guys? Justaircraft.com and uh, um, just send an email. Somebody will get back with you shortly. And uh, we're located in Walhalla, South Carolina. Um, the place with the most unique runway in America, probably. Well, <laughs> it works. <laughs> it works. <laughs> I've seen it. It's an, inter it's an interesting place. And I've seen it work well with a student that learned how to fly and handle it no problem. So, yeah. So good stuff. Well, you can find more. I'm going to be tracking this airplane because this is near and dear to my heart. 
and obviously to a lot of other people too based on the responses I've gotten. Look for that and all other kinds of affordable aircraft on bydanjohnson.com. Thanks for talking with Troy Woodland and myself here at Sun and Fun 2018.